go, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic, and today we get some new things to look at. Behind me here are, for the first time ever, some ultra bouncy blocks in Scrap Mechanic. We have Flubber and No Friction Flubber on the left and right here. Now, these are part of an unreleased pre super pre preview that Durf gave me access to because I had an idea. And when he mentioned that he was working on some bouncy blocks, I was like, I need those blocks for this idea. So he was kind enough to grace me with a super early but still functional version of this mod update. It is so early, in fact, that the new parts don't even have icons yet in the uh, inventory. But as you can see here, we got Flubber. It is very bouncy material. It bounces off the ground and itself. We have no friction Flubber, which is obviously the same thing, but without friction. There's also some other cool stuff like a lava rock block. Uh, we have a block not found block. That sounds super exciting. Destructible super heavy block and another block not found block. So I don't really know much about those ones, but we're going to be mainly focusing on Flubber for this episode. And also way down the bottom, we also have Flubber balls and another block not found ball. What are they going to be? I guess we'll have to wait to find out. So to give you an idea here about these Flubber balls, apparently they are pretty bouncy. So here's an example of them bouncing off the ground. Holy cow. Well, okay. One of them just went through the ground. That's how bouncy it was. It bounced negative. <laughs> oh, and here it goes. And it's back. Whoa, whoa, what? Okay, I think the pink one, the, the no friction, is definitely a lot more bouncy than the friction-based one. Here, I want to do another test over here. All right, we got the no friction one there. We got the friction one there. Are these paintable as well? Let's see. Ah, uh, yes, of course they are. All right, and there you go. Yeah, you can see, oh, it just keeps bouncing through the ground. But you can definitely see it bounces back up higher. So my plan for this episode is I want to build a Newton's Cradle. And I'm fully expecting physics not to work the way that it should in real life. I have a feeling that a pure conservation of energy is not going to be demonstrated here, but the whole purpose is to just see what happens. If it works as intended, fantastic. If it doesn't, it's still probably going to be fantastic. The description did say it bounces off of the ground and itself. It did not say other objects. And then what if we do it like this? Okay, it literally is, yeah, just the ground and itself. All right, well, that is good to know. That is definitely good to know for this experiment. So, we're gonna build a Newton's Cradle, and there's two different versions of this that I wanna do. The first version, I'm going to have the strings that are holding the balls of the Newton's Cradle. I'm gonna have those be static objects, because I think that's going to be the most consistent, physically speaking. And then we're gonna step it up a notch, and I'm gonna replace the static strings with ropes from the ropes mod, which are stretchy and bouncy. So not only are, are we gonna have balls bouncing around off of each other, but the ropes themselves that are holding them are also gonna be bouncing around, probably creating some form of chaos. So let's start building our giant Newton's cradle, shall we? Here we go.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Newton's Cradle is maybe ready for action. Now, the funny thing is, I don't know if you guys noticed in the time lapse, but um, these bouncy balls that I've created don't behave the way that I expected them to. It appears that rather than just being one new bouncy object, it seems like every bouncy block that is put in here multiplies the bounciness into any surface that it comes in contact with. So basically, check this out. As it bounces, it just keeps getting exponentially, well not exponentially, it just keeps getting more and more bouncy each time. It like, it almost, it seems like just almost like 50% increase after every single bounce going higher and higher and higher. And I think that the more surface contact it has, the more blocks that hit the ground, then the bigger the force of the next bounce. Yeah, that one was like a corner. You can see that it, it put a lot of the energy into rotation instead. But if it's a flat hit, then it goes really, really high. Ooh, that was a pretty good one. Okay, so how that's gonna translate to this, uh, I can only hope for chaos. So I'm gonna keep things super simple for now. I'm just gonna use my hammer to get this thing started, um, but I'm hoping at some point I might be able to have like an automatic, some arms that can like pull them backwards or something. Um, but let's see, what do you guys think is gonna happen? Do you think it's gonna behave like a Newton's Cradle? Now, if on the off chance that you've never seen a Newton's Cradle before, here's what should happen. When I hit this one backwards, it should swing out come back and hit this one, that energy should get transferred through all of these and into the last one only, and then this one should swing out and come back. And these three in the middle should just stay there because they should absorb the impact and transfer it all the way to the other side. So place your bets now. Do you think it's going to work in the way that it does in real life? I'm gonna bet no, but I am not entirely sure what to actually expect. So here we go. Three, two, one, start. Oh boy. Well, that was kind of underwhelming, wasn't it? What? What? Huh. I was honestly expecting a little bit more chaos than that. All right, well, I'm doing a little experiment here now. I'm going to put bearings attaching the ball side to the string, if you want to call it that, just to see if having this extra disconnect of freedom here is going to somehow make the bounce effect stronger. I really don't know what why it would. All right, bearings have been added. Let's see. Well, this should have an effect. This should actually... Oh, look at that. That's going to be interesting. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, that, that, that was not very interesting. So I got to do another experiment then. What if we only have two of them? So there's not a whole bunch of other ones kind of becoming stoppers. If there's just two of them bouncing off each other, does that work? Oh, no. Okay, well, see, now they bounce like crazy. Look at this. All right. Will this work now? Will you be bouncy? I feel like they're behaving like normal objects when they're attached to this. So you know what? I think the idea with the ropes mod that I have is going to be the saving grace because when they're attached to ropes, they are pretty much like free floating objects. The only thing is the rope is going to be stretchy and that's going to ruin every- excuse me, excuse me. Okay, so now this is going to require some pretty heavy modification because in order to attach ropes to these the way I want to, these are actually going to have to become separate objects from the entire creation itself. So this is going to be interesting. Okay, so I got the ropes installed and all hooked up to the buttons. So now the hard part is I have to aim these ropes on this very, very steep angle right at the sides of these. And man, these are just going to flop all over the place. But even if they flop all over, all over the place, my hope is that they're just going to bounce really, really strongly off of each other. Either way, this is going to be the worst Newton's Cradle in history. But I have a controller here, so I figure what I can do is just set this angle on the controller. Let's just do 75 degrees to start off with. How is that looking? Well, they're definitely pointed downward. So now if I press this, we should see where they're lined up. Okay, so that is not... Terrible, actually. That's not terrible, but I feel like they should be lined up more on the sides. Okay, I think I found it. So this is 79 degrees, which isn't quite where I want it to be, but I'm a little bit concerned because if I go one degree more to 80 degrees, 
It almost looks like it's slightly low, but it is very, very close to where I intended to keep it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save this. And now the... Not quite sure what just happened, but anyway, now we should... I, I Perhaps I should weld this. I'm gonna go ahead and weld this. Oh. oh I did disconnect, dis disconnect the rope. This thing... <laughs> this thing is already showing promise. Okay, so the way this is intended to work is I should be able to delete these. Oh, I can only delete a couple at a time. I don't know how this is gonna work. Oh, okay. I was expecting them to like droop a little. Oh, no. Oh, no, this is not how the bouncing it. Are they welded to each other? Oh, they're welded to each other. This is not good. I've, I've made a mistake. So this is an object now. Whoa, whoa, wait, what? what? My entire thing is in, what? We broke this so bad. Oh, there's also, um, I, I let that go a long time ago. That disappeared for me when I was trying to build this and now it's back. So let me, let me go ahead and get this, this thing back now. Okay, come back. There we go. See, I'm glad I saved this. This is why I saved this. But the problem is, what is this? I can't delete this anymore. I can't, it's not even attached to the ground. This is all fake. That's just, okay. All right, we're just going to ignore that now and, uh, spawn this in. Okay, so now I think to fix this, I actually have to put them on bearings like this. Okay, so now it looks like they are actually independent objects, as you can see by the white line showing a division between them. So let's go ahead and attach. That is not... What? Th that should... Oh, these got saved at 80 for some reason? Oh, my bad. Wait, no, 80 was correct. Why is this different now? How does that make any sense? All right, well, let's see what happens when I do this. Okay, that is what I was expecting, actually. This is working out pretty nicely so far. Okay, now the question is, when I hit them and they come back to each other, are we gonna get bounce now? Place your bets down below, here we go. And, oh wait, I just realized there's, it's gonna be so difficult to actually hit this straight because of the stretchiness of the ropes. All right, and go. Oh no, this is gonna be terrible. <laughs> well, I was not wrong when I predicted that the ropes mod would make them bouncier. Okay, um, well, let's see how these two get along. Alright, here goes nothing. What? Oh my god, it's perfect! Oh, that was amazing. Okay. Okay. Uh, I got an idea. I do have an idea, okay? Uh, I'm gonna- oh, <laughs> I just have balls bouncing around the map now. <laughs> okay, this is what I was hoping for. I was hoping that we were gonna get something more entertaining than the first result, and that's what we have now. These are absolutely insane. Just imagine the potential if you just spawn in like a hundred of these things on the map. I'm gonna make a video on that. Um, we're gonna do bounciness experiments because the chaos that will inevitably ensue is just, it's irresistible. Okay, but for now, Newton's Cradle. Is this still fake, by the way? Yeah, yeah, that's still fake. We need a new ball that isn't quite as bouncy. Okay, so just for fun, I just disconnected all these, and I'm, rather than delete them, I'm just gonna hit them into each other. Here we go. They went everywhere. Oh no, all right, I need to get these things out of here, because, wait, wait, what? Is that what I think it is? Uh, I think those are these rope bars for one of my previous creations just floating up in the air. From that, yeah, see? Those rope bars are gone. They're, they're, they're up above me. <laughs> well, this is turning out to be a very typical Scrapman video, isn't it? All right, and, all right, well, hey, that works. 
All right, so here is the new ball. So there's basically one small peg of flubber sticking out from either side. And uh, hopefully that's just gonna tone down the bounciness to make it slightly more realistic. So let's hope for the best and see what happens. Okay, you ready for the most realistic demonstration of physics in a video game you've ever seen? Here we go. Oh my god. Oh, what? <laughs> what is even happening? Now, this is a Newton's Cradle pattern I guarantee you've never seen before. Look at this. This is actually kind of amazing. Oh, this is awesome. They don't bounce too strong, so they don't get disconnected by the ropes like the previous version. But the bounce now is so inconsistent in direction that it creates like juggling patterns almost. This is, this is Newton's Cradle 2.0. Oh, look at that one. That one was a good one. I, I'm speechless. Like, I don't even know. I don't know if there's a way using this block, at least. I don't know if there's a way to make an actual realistic Newton's Cradle, but who would want to when you can have this? All right, I'm gonna let that one sit there and do its thing. I wanna do uh, kind of an, oh, I keep forgetting that these things are just bouncing around the map. I wanna do an experiment with another one, but this time, instead of using these, I'm going to use the friction rubber, the green one, because as we saw, it's a little bit less bouncy <laughs> than these. I don't know why I am putting these all around my world, but it's easier and more fun than actually deleting them individually. Okay, here is version three now. It's gonna be hopefully more tame because the green blocks seem like they have much lower bounce than the other blocks. And oops, I forgot to delete some of these legs off here. Oh, that's bad. That ruins everything. All right, well, we're gonna have to start over. Oh no. All right, Noon's Cradle three, take two. Everything seems to be in working order so far. Place your bets now. Will this work better? Worse? Is it gonna do anything interesting? Here we go. <gasps> Why? <gasps> Why? It just exploded. Oh, man. Well, it's something. Oh. Um, I got another variation idea. This is gonna be the one. This right here is gonna be the one. Single point of bouncy contact, and we're using the lower bounce version of it. So let's hope for the best. Here we go. Three, two, one, activate. Oh, that's not a great start. Oh, it's... I was gonna say it's not terrible, but if you're actually thinking about what a Newton's Cradle is supposed to do, that was completely terrible. And what am I even supposed to do with this now? Oh no, everything's all messed up. All right, this is, this is my least favorite mo ropes mod version. It's, it's just uninteresting overall. I just realized that we're missing a couple here. What happened? Oh, stuff like that probably happened. They're still going though. Well, there goes two more. All right, so I gotta ask you guys in the comments and answer honestly, is this the worst Newton's Cradle you've ever seen? Or is it the best Newton's Cradle you've ever seen? Be honest. Be honest, if you had a Newton's Cradle on your desk and you wanted something to entertain you, well, well, you just wanted to watch it and be satisfied watching it, is this gonna be more satisfying to watch and entertaining to watch? Or is the, the, the stereotypical Newton's Cradle just going back and forth gonna be what you would rather have? Okay, so I think there's only one thing left to do. We're gonna take this to an extreme. I'm gonna spawn in this version here, which was one of the most bouncy versions. And then what I'm gonna do is spawn in another one. And now I'm gonna see if I can actually weld these together like that and have it still function. Okay, so now I think we have a double Newton's Cradle here. They're both set to the same angle, but they're both attaching at different points, which makes no sense to me at all. But let's see if we can detach all these without any issue. Okay, we're gonna delete this before things get too out of hand, and let's try that one more time. All right, this time I'm gonna delete from this side. Don't know why. Oh no! Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna keep going. Just keep going. I'm just gonna keep going. Let's just keep deleting everything off of the thing. Just, just keep. We're just gonna keep deleting all of the things off of the.
This is the world we live in now. So which version was your favorite? Let me know down in the comments below. And uh, if you want to see any other experiments with the bouncy blocks, then also let me know if you have any crazy ideas because there's a lot of potential for insanity with these things, as you've clearly seen. So uh, looking forward to seeing your feedback down there. If you want to see some other awesome scrap mechanic videos, then you're going to want to check out these videos on the end screen right here. I hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.